Hello, YouTubers. This is the Nubifier. It's Thursday, and that means a short inside Star Citizen about the party system improvements and some updated information about the prison system. Here's what you need to know in 1 minute and 15 seconds. We've been dealing with the legacy friends list and have seen some good improvements such as the inner thought add to party, but it's still pretty rough. The point of the game is that it will become an MMO, and for that, the developers know that we need a proper way to link up and play together. The full front-end refactor is part of the plan, with the possibility of features being added directly to the lobby, such as chat, party launch, and party linking. This update isn't just for the PU, but for all game modes. Connecting Spectrum in the game includes a unification of VoIP and FOIP as well. There was no date mentioned for any of this, so I guess we'll have to stay tuned. Prisons were next, promising a deterrent for criminal activity. The plan is to allow you to do whatever you want, however, just like in real life, there will be consequence. The design is a separate gameplay loop that wipes your global inventory and you start from scratch. You'll need to decide if you want to work or wait for the clock to run down, and when you get released, your possessions will be returned to you. Initially, there are 50 cells in a circular block, and as was said, the prison is automated. Down a floor, you're going to have info kiosks that will display your remaining sentence. Down one more floor, you have vending machines and access to the mines. Vending machines are going to trade your merits for equipment and tools, which will let you work in the mines and speed up your release. They mentioned an escape route that's going to be demoed in a future show. That's it. This is a community-supported channel that operates ad-free. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.